What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more of the Cat Lady. Last episode, we were duct taped into a bathtub by a weird, mysterious murderer guy with Mitzi, and now we're dreaming about her past and probably a potential cheating situation. Yep, here's a guy that hammered us to death. Go back but... early. Oh, <gasps> oh, is this something is wrong? Eric? Yeah. Uh -oh. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Uh oh. Is something wrong? Uh-oh. Yes, Susan, there is. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? Didn't talk to anyone today? What what happened? He has an accent. Um, Eric, was, was there, there an, accent? an accident? Yes, you could call it that. But if a guy walks into a busy restaurant during dinner service and detonates a bomb strapped to his chest, then I think the term terrorist attack is more fitting. Yeah. That's probably more There's fitting chaos thing spreading indeed. all through the city. Everyone's panicking. The police uh -oh. and army are everywhere. But you don't even care, do you, Susan? Well, why so mad? Of course I care. I have no idea. Um. Yeah. Why are you so mad? Jesus. Are you all right? I'm why are you fine. so mad, bro? Calm down, bro. Did you get hurt? Yes. No. I cut really. my finger. But the cap smashed quite badly. Uh, that's I was not just good. there when it happened. There was smoke, clouds of dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. Well, he just witnessed a whole bunch of people die. So I'd imagine that'd be pretty. And all of a sudden, some van hits sad. me from the back. Oh. I hear my passenger screaming and shouting, and there's blood on the rear window. And just then, another car drives right into us, and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on. But imagining this might just be the end of the world. Susan has a lot of bad luck with, like, everything involving her life. It was some geezer with a bloody bomb. They closed all the main streets, in case there's more of them. What time was oh, that? Oh, crap. Around 30, 30 years PM, ago. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. Would the you garage? believe? <laughs> Our insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should have called me. I did. Four times. What? I you didn't, didn't hear answer. nothing. I must have been... Yeah, yeah. You were busy with the baby. Every time it's the same old story. No, we're busy with our secret lover. We've still got that wine in the fridge, haven't we? Yeah. Get oh, some glasses, Susan. I told you. I need a drink. Oh, when, she, when he said glasses, I was like, what? How about... Get some glasses, please. No, nope. alright. I'll all get right. the glasses. I'll get the glasses. You get the wine. But right. are you sure you don't want to take a shower first? No, I just need a drink. Yeah. I can wash later. Yeah, he's, uh, he's totally gonna go driving. He's totally gonna die. It's totally gonna be really terrible, and somehow our baby's gonna die. Alright, take glasses. Oh, yeah. Last time we were here, it said she hasn't drank since Eric. Uh oh. Shit. Are you gonna get that? If it's Jerry, tell him I'm not here. I don't want to talk to them tonight. Alright. Hello. Hello. Answer the phone. Oh crap, Hello? we gotta end off this episode. Oops, I can't believe. Me again. I'm sorry. Oh, great. But I had to hear your voice again. Oh you asshole, get out of here! I love you, Susan. Great. Garage garage. You're still there. <laughs> I like I said garage instead of garage. Something. Anything. Uh oh. In the next episode, we will find out what's gonna happen here. Probably very bad things actually. Till then, we gotta really go. Okay, we really gotta go. Bye. You know what? I just realized something. I might have. I might have just not reset my timer. Um, this might be the same episode. <laughs> oh man, I'm really confused now. Um, anyways, if not, welcome, everyone, because that did feel like a fast 20 minutes. Okay, well, anyways, yeah, this is the cat lady. If this is in the middle of the episode, and then oops. Okay, well, I'm sorry, but I'm, n I'm sorry, but he's not home. Thanks, but we're already insured with someone. Thanks, but we're already insured with <laughs> someone else. That's the biggest lie I've ever heard I... in my entire life. Excuse me? Susan, it's me. That's the cool. only thing I'm trying to sell to you is my heart. Wow, that's cheesy. We won't be needing pet insurance either. Well, Eric... What are you talking about? Eric sounds pretty convinced. He's like, hmm. Would you like my wow. husband to talk to you? He's just come home from work. 
He usually deals with insurance companies. Every time. Will you just put the phone down? Yeah. Once you start talking to them, these insurance bloodsuckers yeah. will never leave you alone. Chill. Susan, I'm so sorry. Should I hang up? Just hang up, Susan. Yeah, hang up. Hang up! God dang, he just walked through the telephone cord. That's amazing. All right, take care of then. Have you gone mad? All okay. right. Take care <clears throat> then. Yeah, I'm not risking saying have you gone mad because he could be just right outside the door for all I know. There we go. Now that's probably gonna ring again in like two seconds. And then Eric's gonna answer it. Oh, we're back here. I guess we're gonna make then some progress Then the arguing here. started. But Burps. It slowly grew into something bigger. Something uh -oh. horrible. Stupid remarks mm. and old grudges mixed with alcohol turned into some sick exchange of pointless accusations. It wasn't the first time we argued. But it was the last. Just look at the state dies. of this It's a mess! Yeah, it Listen, is a pretty big mess. I know you're with Zoe all day. But it's not like she's still a little baby. She's six months already! You'll have to organize your day a bit better and get things done. If other women find time, why can't you? Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, alright? Mm. Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, all right? Well, telling someone they're drunk Look, is never I understand good. Understand <laughs> you've had a very bad day. So just but like, it's not no, my fault that the bomb had gone I'm off and drunk. your car was damaged. I'd really like you to calm down now. I'm sure we can sort everything out. We always do. Oh, poor Susan. Well, that's what you think. Yeah. And what do you think, Eric? What do I think? So it matters all of a sudden what I think. Well, why are you tell so me. mad, bro? Sure. I mean, you did just witness probably a whole bunch of people I think die, you're lazy, but... Susan. You do nothing all day Still. while I keep working my ass off to provide for this family. I yeah. think you're trying to shift the responsibility on me, like you always did. Oh, crap. I think you use the baby as an excuse for everything. All the things, true. I think you're an asshole. Oh, How dare snap. you accuse me of such things? It only takes one look at the flat to see it's all true. Don't be nasty. I'm doing all I can. I'm done talking to you. Let me go. I have to check. No, that, no, that's not a good idea to check on Zoe. Don't be nasty. I'm doing all I can. Are you really? Yes, okay, kind of. Okay, doing all you can. You obviously care about your husband. Coming home after a hard day's work, he's gonna be hungry. But wait, where's his dinner? True. Oh, uh, let me guess. You didn't make it because you were too busy changing nappies, and singing, and playing, and washing. Yeah, I think so. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. Well, come on, it. seriously. If you'd spent more time with this our daughter yourself, year old baby. you'd know how important these things are. So pardon me, <coughs> there's no dinner for a hard-working husband. From now on, he's going to have to cook for himself. Because, you know what? The wife is working just as hard, and she's really tired of being treated this way. Would it really be that difficult to make dinner and treat a baby? Oh, come on. Because this is just the start. There's gonna be some changes around here. I'm fed up of being pushed around by you. I put the bread on our table, don't I? I'm the man in this family! I will make the rules, and I'll get the respect I deserve. Uh, how can you talk to me like this? I'm done talking to you, let me go. I've checked Zoe. Well, crap! Well, they're, they're gonna be arguing regardless. I'm done talking to you. But still, it's, it's, of course you are. Let's try and take not what you elevate do, our voices. It? You run out of arguments. You need to. Stop talking to me. Then you lock yourself in the bathroom and fucking cry. What an I'm asshole! I'm sick of repeating the same old thing over and over <clears> again. <throat> then why won't you give me a break, for God's sake? Yeah. You're acting like I've done something terrible. I don't even know what your problem is. Is there something you're not telling me, Eric? Like you have a secret you lover? Know, Boy, that's me. But you never listen to me, do you? Not to a single word I've ever said! Right, here we go. It's not you, it's the alcohol speaking. Yeah, alcohol brings I shouldn't be taking any of this seriously. I know that tomorrow you'll be apologizing to me for it. Oh, uh, It was just go. a couple of glasses and you had some too! I'm not drunk! I wish I was. Maybe then I could laugh at this shitty life and not care so much. That's a good one. 
You really care so much, Eric. You should get a medal or something. Well, I, I, I don't know how to respond to any of this. No you are full of shit, Susan! Oh, well. Full of shit! This is a really childish argument, actually. Um, how can you talk to me like this? Why don't you look at yourself? Well, Let this is bad. <laughs> yeah, let's do it anyways. Zoe. I left a window open in her oh, room. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. You always have to check on Susan! Or what? Or Zoe, I mean. But he's, he's... Yell at me! He's not gonna yell at me? That's right. Just walk away. Oh, yep. That's all you do, yep. Susan. Oh, uh, yep. I you was waiting for that. You can never finish anything. Yep. Well, at least I if there's one thing I don't want to finish, it's this stupid I conversation. I thought he was going to say something like... See, there we go with the baby! Just like I was saying, the baby's not cold! Do you just want to leave Why or not? something? Are you afraid that I actually might be right? Are you scared of facing the truth? Okay. I'm sure Zoe's fine. Yeah. It's the hottest summer we've had in years. There we go, okay. There It'll we go. be good for her to have some fresh air in there. Won't you agree? Yeah, yeah. I Come on. I guess. Come on, Fine. Susan. Never mind. Yeah, there we go. I figured that was gonna happen. Oh, now we only have yelling options. I haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. How can you talk to me like this? Because You're treating me like dirt. Didn't you forget something? I'm your wife! I'm the mother of your child! Doesn't that mean anything to you at all? Yes. A wife and a mother? Why don't you stop acting like one? Oh! When was the last time you showed me that you <laughs> care about me? All you ever talk about is the baby. I love her to bits, I swear I do. But I want to have a wife too. When yeah. was the last time you even kissed me? I'm not even talking about sex. Ugh, oh, I knew it. Is that what bothers you so much? Is it? Of course it fucking bothers me! Yeah, Does it not too. bother you that we never have time for each other? Look, we are new parents. It's always hard. All couples go through it, I heard. Well, well fuck why don't go through this? I heard different. <laughs> okay, um, I haven't done anything wrong. Why don't, why don't you, look you look at yourself, yourself you idiot? idiot! So I'm an idiot now, oh, am great. I? You're... You keep picking on me for nothing. Yeah, we he has no, valid points. Cut. And you know it, Susan. If you're so stay-at-home wife, then what the fuck are you still doing? With a baby, then Pack come on. And leave me alone. Like, sure, babies take a lot of time, but they don't take up all your time, especially a six-month-year-old one. If it's a new baby, this is my then sure. fucking flat. I worked my fucking ass off for seven years to buy it. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, well... I haven't done anything wrong! Of course not! Because you're fucking perfect, aren't you? Oh, uh, not I what I said. I'm perfect, Well, if you're not. so perfect, <laughs> yeah? Then why are we here now? Oh, Fight. God. Come on. This Come is all on. messed up. She's taller you're than me. behaving him. like a five-year-old? Whoa, what I called that too! I said that earlier! You, Susan! You always know which is just... to part. To tip me over the fucking edge! Living on the edge! Stop it! <laughs> Stop it, Susan! Stop what? We've only just started! Stop hitting yourself! We Stop hitting yourself! Each other what we really think, right? Ow. Oh, he's gonna say that stuff, he's gonna walk out, and he's gonna die. Yep. Oh, we're back here. We didn't even notice that outside the storm had started. I was oh, so absorbed no. in that stupid fight that I forgot all about the open window. Anyway, and the flowers. Aww. Those fucking flowers. Right there. Oh, she aler oh she's right allergic to them. And she died. She had some rare allergy to pollen. Aww. But we couldn't have known that. How were we supposed to know? Why is the door closed? It's rare. Well, I guess because they're yelling and they wanted to keep quiet. She started coughing and choking. You didn't, you know you'd imagine no matter how loud of an argument you got into, you'd still hear your old baby crying, wouldn't you? Oh, maybe it wasn't crying because it's was choking. But yeah, well that explains the baby death. Damn cops! <laughs> I saw like little cute sneezes, little baby sneezes. Oh. And then the, the baby died. We saw her. She was dead. 
when we found her, she... she was... Yeah, she was kind of, you know... Had superpowers! She, with their powers, she became super far After lady. After two days of what seemed like a narcotic dream, Eric had gone out and never came back again. Yeah. They found him nearly a week later. He drank himself dead in the oh. woods. Was he? Did he I happen to be in a car? I didn't recognize him when I saw him in the morgue. It really was a hot summer. Oh. He looked bad. Hmm. Miss Ashworth, I... Thank you for telling me that. Now I understand. I wonder how Susan feels now that she... I understand why you're so sad all the time. ...released her inner sadness. Hello, Mr. Guy. And is this... This is her ex-lover, What do it? you want from us? Okay, he's gonna say, Don't Have you remember you me? Dev? Don't you remember me, let Susan? Let me handle this. Let us go right now, you moron. I just said let me handle Mitzi. it. You dick. Leave her alone. Hey, we just Don't had to leave dare. her. No! Take me, instead. Uh-oh. Mitzi's not saying a thing now. Take me. What now? Hello? Anything doesn't look like it. Poor Mitzi. Maybe this is the Eye of Adam. Maybe the Eye of Adam is Susan's ex lover. Or not really, yeah. Would you call it an ex lover even though it was a one way love? Poor Mitzi. Hello. Stop you hammer hurt time. My friend. Ah, she's calling her her friend. Now. I. Will eat you, I literally. Will. Like bite his nose off and then bite his eyes out and then eat the rest of them. You know, not that's actually because that'd be weird. Yeah. Where did I go? Oh, there. I, what? What? What's going on? You're letting me go, just like that. Who the heck is this guy? Why is there an orange Where's towel? Where's my friend? What have you done to her? Switch. Turn it on. Is there anything in here I could use? Take a bath. I better take a shower instead. Can I take a shower? I feel like taking a nice relaxing bath. I don't deserve that much. I think I better take a shower instead. I think I take a nice d relaxing bath. Okay, use. Um, now that would be really weird. Pee in front of her. Pee in front of who? There's nobody here. This game's weird sometimes. All right, turn that on. Where the heck are we going? Can we go? I don't want to go out right now. Is she in the kitchen? Making my way down my flight. Da -na -na, da -na -na, da -na -na -na. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't know why I bothered to call. I was like, ooh, better call the cops. Oh yeah, it doesn't work. Alright. Let's keep going. Hello? What's... Oh, is she going to be dead? Uh... Oh... Oh no! Oh no! Don't! I mean, I totally saw Mitzi's death coming eventually. Although, I don't know if I called it or not. But, I definitely imagined Mitzi dying eventually. But, still. I, I, I didn't really think it would be like this. Well, that's a noise. I need a weapon. You sick son of a bitch. Stay on the chair, Mitzi! What do you want to do? What the hell? I don't hell? understand. Play the piano? Play the piano. Wants me to play the piano. Play that piano. <laughs> I can he's still pointing. He's calling the cat. Alright, we're gonna call a cat. The cat's gonna save the day. Let's see. Come on, kitties. Attack! Kitten attack! Hopefully the cats don't misjudge 
the situation, like attack Mitzi or something instead and make her hate herself. Even have cats still? I mean, the pest control did just come here. There's the key cats! Oh, that was a jump and a half. Whee! There you go, rookie. Yeah, do they get teacup? They better not have gotten teacup. The pest control, that is. What the heck is this? There's a guy that's in here? That looked weird. Yes! Kit rage! Eat him alive! Being killed by cats. What a way to go. What? Go! Save her! Or not. Just stand there. Fine. That's cool, too. Man, that's some bad animation. Just saying. Come on, come on, guys. Pull up. Pull up. Oh, oh, no time for that. Quickly, pull it up. I need to find something. To oh, oh, chair. Chair. I can't. Chair. Push. She's totally dead. The fall broke her neck, didn't it? Oh. Lift her up, lift her up, lift her pull up! Oh my good lord! Stand still, Mitzi. Okay, she's still fine. She's okay. gonna be right back with a knife. And I'll cut you down, alright? It would be nice if she made some noises at least. Okay, well. This freaking game, man. Okay. I believe the first part of this episode I did cut off for no real reason. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say we're gonna end off the episode here, but I guess whenever this cutscene's done. Cutscene! Guess we didn't actually need to find the knife. It's actually weird, because normally I'd imagine this game don't want to make us do something like that. Oh, that was fast. Just cut through all, all the things. Whoa, she has a rope burn yeah. on her neck. Hey, eating him. There's hungry too. That's our carnivores. This is... I... You're okay, Mitzi. It's okay. Don't look, Mitzi. Oh, we are standing right over his body. Interesting how Mitzi's lit up there, but Susan's in the dark. I wonder if that signifies something. Are we controlling Mitzi now all of a sudden? Nope. Oh, I guess it's the end of the chapter. Thanks all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!